I want to thank you for the evening to express the mission. I think this has been a lively debate. I think it's been valuable. I hope that uh, you're able to carry the message back to your homes and to your community and that also we get a broader audience through the, uh, the videotaping that's been done. We'll try to post some of this hopefully on Restoring Liberty, which is actually a site that's promoted a number of very pro-liberty things, including school choice. Uh, I want to first mention that, you know, I, I think we have an opportunity here not to opt for crumbs, but to actually go after something that could restore this country. Um, you know, I've, I've known Meade for a long time. In fact, I was an attorney, what, I guess almost 20 years ago. Would have been around 95. Uh, I like me. I genuinely like me Treadwell. I do. He's a nice guy. He's much nicer than I am. <laughs> I don't think he has a good sense of humor as I do, but... <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to vote for me. I'm not going to vote for me because we don't need nice guys in Washington, D.C. We don't. You know, there are so many pressures hitting us right now, and we don't know when the shoe's actually going to drop, but at any time, it could. I mean, 200 trillion future unfunded liabilities, 17 trillion of debt, and the club just keeps spending and spending and spending, and it is a club. I mean, when you have 23 vote against the debt ceiling increase, but you know what? There's light on the horizon. People like Mike Lee and Ted Cruz are out there sounding the alarm. Single-handedly, Ted Cruz changed the debate on Obamacare. And why? Because he's not a go-along, get-along nice guy. That's true. He's the type of guy that will sit there and filibuster as long as it takes. You know, when he was filibustering and we put out a press release in support of it, one of the things that our team was talking about, Joe, you know, if we were up there, what would we be doing? I said three times as long. And my team that's almost as sleepless as I am, and therein lies the reason why I said George Bush and I George Washington earlier. For those of you who caught that, the fact of it is is that we will work tirelessly for you. This is not for some game or to, to, to go to Washington, D.C. I hate Washington, D.C. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to buy some nice little house out there and get comfy. You know, this is a position that we've got to get things changed immediately. This is not something where we can sit around and figure out what we're going to move forward, you know, what deals we're going to make. You know, the only deals I'm going to make are with those members of the Senate from the West to wrest control back from the federal government. And we have an opportunity to do that as long as we don't have go-along, get-along people that we elect. We cannot do that. We've been there, done that. This is a two for a race, folks. You like Murkowski? You got it. This is not about 2010. This is about our future. Time. We cannot tolerate. We must move forward for liberty. Thank you.